Hey y'all, how you doing today? We're going to teach you how to catch catfish in rivers. Luke and I, man, we sure do love the catfish. They're the real man's fish of the river. And if you know how to catch them, you're going to know how to have a good time. We're going to show you what rigs to use, where to cast, what baits, and even more. Take you along our fun adventure so you can catch more fish just like us. It's a big one. Let's see what this is all about. All hey, right. Uncle Andy. <laughs> Where you at, brother? All right, so when you're fishing for catfish, or really any fish in a river, what you're really focusing on is structure and lack of structure. These big predatory fish are going to want to save energy, so they're going to be in these little pockets of slack water near rapids. Because the rapids are where all the bait fish are going to come down, it's like a bait highway. And these big fish are going to be right by them rapids where the water is and it's moving, so they don't have to use a lot of energy waiting for this bait. So that's exactly what we're fishing here. We just want to show you an example. So you got this current coming down, and you got a big old rock right there. You can see on either side of that rock, there's current, but directly behind it, it's smooth sailing, baby. It's like a pool. And these catfish are hanging out in that pool, and that's where we're letting our bait go. We let our bait go down the rapids, and then the rapids will bring it right into that pool, which is where the big boys are waiting, and that's where we're getting hooked up. So fishing rivers can be intimidating, especially if you're bank fishing. Look for that slack water pool, and you'll be in business. That hooked up on a beast. <laughs> John's making this run. Woo -hoo -hoo. He's peeling drag. What do we think it is? What do we think it is? It's a nice size cat, nothing too big. We'll see. Caught him right out there in that moving current. That was fishing that current. Yeah. That's where the catfish was waiting for the prey to come down. <laughs> give me, give me back. Oh, uh, don't slap your grandma. Oh. <laughs> he took it up. He took it up in the rapid. Shot straight down with it. My dad's using 12 pound test, so it's gonna be one crazy fight. Oh, he's working our shoulder out. Evening fishing, man. It's dinner time, and we brought the dinner. I'm trying to get tangled up the rock. Jack, bring him in. Oh, it's a blue. It's a blue. Mighty blue. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> nice corner of the mouth. That's what we love about these circle hooks. Get them in the lips. Get them in the lips. Daddy with the big dog. Woo oh. woo. First fish of the night. Catfish on the live bait. 12 pound <laughs> test. Look at that. That's right. Hey, this, this is a real to man. It's the float slip bobber rig. Some nice Look live bait. Turn. You're going to be getting some good fish. <laughs> Daddy, oh, it's the blue cat. There we go. There we, go. we let these babies go. He's got a fat belly on him. He's got some sharp little, little sharp teeth. All right, good first catch. <laughs> there he goes. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Dad with the first big dog. Woo! That got a nice one. Here, I need to reel my line in. Yeah, another blue, another blue. These guys still get a good fight though. Woo! He's running right at me. Yeah, there he is. There we go. A little smaller than daddy is, but hey. Bear in the big blue house, baby. Woo woo woo! Alright! <laughs> I got my hit right in the slack water off to the left side. Just a great spot to put a bait, you know, because the fish are going to be hiding there waiting for the bait coming down the rapid. Just like this guy. So, there we go. Number two of the day. We're going to keep putting those numbers up. Hopefully get on some bigger 25, 30 pound flatheads too. Can't beat that live bait, baby. It catches blue cats, flatheads, channels. Just put some live bait. That's gonna be the most efficient way to catch fish, especially for beginners or if you just want a ton of action. Make sure you get some live bait. Just float down the river. You'll be catching fish all day, baby. We'll let this one go. Let him grow. There he goes. There goes Jack's stuff, flowing down the river. All right, we use the slip bobber rig set up. So we got a bobber, got some nice 50 pound leader monofilament. 
That's gonna give you the stretch you need when these big catfish hit. Got a circle hook at the end, and then a small like, one ounce weight right above the hook to get the bait down into the current where the catfish are chilling. And we're all using a little pan, fierce, rod reel combos. I use it pretty much any time I go river fishing. They hold out real well. And we got a video that goes over the rig. I'll post it up here. And we also have links down below with all the gear we're using. Booyah! What's going on? Something playing with it? I'm playing with it for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, they, they usually do an initial dunk. And then it'll sit there for a little bit and then completely go under. You can see it dancing around down there. It's doing a little fishy dance. So the good thing is, is we got circle hooks. So there's no major hook set we got to do right when they bite it. They can take it down for a little bit. All we got to do is reel it in. Just pull right back. Make sure you get pressure. And I mean, it'll hook it like 99% of the time right in the corner of the mouth. Just letting it sit. You know, you don't freak out with it. Wait until that bobber goes down. Give it good tension and you'll be on a fish. All right, so here's about exactly what we're talking about. See this current coming in, and it bows out into a deep pool. So we're just gonna put our bait right in that current, let it float down, slip bobber rig, gonna bring the bait right to the bottom where they're holding. And now we just gotta wait for a catfish to come bite. All right, bobber's down, bobber's down. Show them how to hook set, Luke. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> look at him. Alright, let's Whoa, land them, dude. Land them. <laughs> Alright, look at that. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm, down. I'm, down. Oh, I'm on one. I'm on one. Oh my god. Double dutch. Here, grab this. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. No. Oh. No, gave me a good little first bite. Oh, dude, I love this rod. This rod reels them all in, dude. What is that, the pen? pen I like fierce. my pen too, baby. This is a nice one. Find yourself a good rock to sit up on. Just catch a whole bunch of fish right on the edge of a rapid. The jaw looks a little messed up. Look at that. Off center. Half jaw? That's too bad. Look at them. Poor dude. They handle this guy carefully, get him back in the water real quick. Yeah. He's a nice guy. We're gonna let him back real quick. These guys fight so much better than the blues do. See you, Mr. Fish. That was a good fight. Uh, just catch some more. The best thing about this spot is there's just a massive drop off because these rapids right here, it's maybe like two feet deep, but then down here it's around 12 or 14 feet. I went and swam around, checked, so then we adjusted our leader line to get the baits in that position and hook up on more fish. Like we've been saying, we got all the key ingredients here, so we're pulling all of our fish, rapids, drop off, rock structure. They're here, and we gotta keep fishing them. We're double dutching up every cast. Booyah! Three, baby, God is good today! Woo woo! <laughs> Let's go, you see a dance, it's doing a little fishy dance. Oh, it's down, dude, it's down. Dunk her down, dunk her down. Woo! <laughs> oh, God! Hey, he's one for three today. <laughs> I was playing with it again. Like I know where to cast. Jack, you want to cast that a little bit further to the right? All right, hey, hey, check this out. I'm about to get one right here. Oh man, where's the ball? That's a big one. Back up. Back up. So I'll just let it sit, and it'll go back down. And if it doesn't go back down in like five minutes, reel it in. Probably took the bait. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we got a little double duck action. Like, we both got some dancing bobbers. We'll see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Come on. They're playing with us. Dad's gonna get up in this. We're gonna try to get triple train. Triple train. 
I was just about to check the bait, but then it went down again. So there's definitely still some bait on there. It's, get, it's getting played with. Yeah, right here, it's time for patience, all right? You just wait and the fish will come and get it. Yeah, yeah, he's got something. Here, here, I'll hold your rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He thought it was a rock. Dad's in the right spot. He's fishing that little raft right here. You can see right to the right of him. He was letting it float on down. <laughs> Take it, baby. Oh, he's pulling drag. <laughs> Dad's been on a 12 pound test. Like a big old tuna. Work it, work it. <laughs> no, you can't come off the line. <laughs> oh, watch out. Might be on a rock. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> I saw him. I think it's a flat. It's a big one. Friday night catfish. Ooh, they're awesome. <laughs> this is why this rig is so good. If you're fishing a bottom rig in that rapid, you'd just be stuck in one spot, probably snagged up. But with the float rig, you're able to fish that rapid and not get snagged, and obviously produces good results. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Dad's got a nice one. It's a big one. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's a nice one. My big flatty for the night. Got a big blue, got a big flatty. Got some <laughs> yeah. sharp old teeth, too. <laughs> All in the medium action, right? With the too. sun setting in the background. Woo! Yee, 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 yee. <laughs> All right. Uncle Andy. <laughs> Where you at, brother? <laughs> All right. Big old gut. Okay, I'm gonna let him loose. A nice old fish. Come on. Run. Yes, yes. Ooh, oh, there, there he goes. Hello. Beast mode. Things do have to work, man. Bobber down, bobber down. What? 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 So my bobber went down pretty slowly. This could be the result of a snag or a monster fish. We're about to find out. I think it's a fish. It's moving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that baby bed, man. Gotta get the line in. Oh, baby. Oh, I just felt one on my toe, man. Oh, this is giving me a good fight. Can you fish him? You want to keep him out of the rocks? Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. Whenever they, whenever they run, I always like to bring the tip down to the water. Just to give it least resistance as possible. Oh yeah. <laughs> Saw that one. Oh, oh, yeah. Man. Evening fishing on the James River. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I'd say how big you think he is? I'd say 30. 20, 30. He's got 25, that 30. Good. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. They're slamming the live bait right now. It's dinner time. The bells are ringing. Yeah, yeah, we're I'm about here. Look at that beast. Oh, you nice. Oh. oh, he's gonna have some payback on me. I know it. No! There we go. Glad. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one right there. Put up a nice fight. Look at that beautiful tail, too. They got so much power in them. Well, beautiful one. It was dinner time. We put the bait in the right location. 
Nice setup, good times. We're having a lot of fun out here. Everybody's yeah. catching fish. Get you one of these little setups here. Get the big old bobbers. With yeah, the nice circle hook. Whoop. We got links to all the gear in the description below. That's right. You can't beat these fishing poles either. Penn makes some awesome river You heard fishing. that drag screen, That's baby. all we use. That's what you like. All three on pens today. Yeah, that's true. All three pin pierces. Whew. All right. Uh, I think she's ready to go now. Back to the depths. Pretty fish right there. All right. Whew. Hey, if, if you're enjoying this stuff, hey, go click that subscribe button. We post videos every single week. We're trying to do three a week, make it super interesting, fun stuff, you know. Come along with us. We're going to show you tips on how to get some free bait, catch big fish like this. We do saltwater and freshwater. That's a lot of fun. If you want to see anything specifically, comment below, and we'll make a video about it, babe. We're out here all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a wrap. Oh, dude. Oh, 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 man. Oh, dirty dog Davis. <laughs> my shizzle. <laughs> hey, show, show the sun how it's done. <laughs> I don't think it knows it's hooked yet. <laughs> I don't think it knows it. Oh, uh, well, we're having errors out here today, catching fish. <laughs> you know, you gotta let some of them go when you're catching as many as we do. Must have been a small one. Give it! Did you get it? Man, dude. I gave it. What in the world is going on? <laughs> another another bait stolen by <laughs> for Luke. I don't know what's going on today. Well, the sun's setting here. It looks like we got about seven and a half minutes of sunlight left. We're gonna enjoy the sunset, maybe catch a couple more fish. If we don't, it's been a great time, you know? We, we showed you all the tips on how to catch big flatheads and blues in rivers, uh, where to cast, what baits to use, and nice slip bobber rig. And you know which one to use, baby. All right, we got a little cruising situation. Look at that bobber roll. So when it's cruising like that, it's usually a gar. I mean, that thing's moving at stay tick. Look at that, thing. <laughs> that thing's going, dude. It's like the jaw's moving. <laughs> With gar, you know. They make one big run, they'll stop, they'll swallow your bait, and then they'll make like another big run. I think it's on that second run that you want to set the hook. Yeah, this thing's a big hook and a big piece of bait. This is the alligator gar, baby. <laughs> we were just about to say goodnight, but hey, this one's giving us one last run for our money. Hopefully Luke sets the hook right. <laughs> there ain't no right way to set a hook on a gar with a circle hook. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hook. This thing probably just dude. has a little tail in its mouth. There you go. Walk the dog, baby, walk the dog. <laughs> yeah, so if you do see a bobber doing that, going horizontal, chances are very good to go on the other end. And they're notoriously hard to, to hook just because they're so bony. Our buddy Stensler still hasn't caught a gar and he's been fishing for a really long time. Check out our gar video. Um, that hook's so big. No way it's gonna hook. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, when that bobber's moving horizontally, don't set the hook. Do not set the hook, let it go with it. everywhere out here. All right, there we go. We're probably not on. Oh my God, things are jumping. He just took it for a run. Hook probably wasn't even in his mouth. Probably just took it with the tail of it. Oh yeah. my God, he took the bait. That hook. That hook is not hooked in a gar in this river. We don't got alligator gar. <laughs> All right, we bid you good night. The boys were out and the boys were catching. All right. It's a big old fish right here. It's an albino catfish. What'd I say? It's an albino catfish. A sturgeon? Mm -hmm. Never know what you find in the river, baby. There you go. <laughs> this is just never gonna end. <laughs> no, no, it's a carp. No, it's carp is out. He was white. It's me.